It's in Jordan. Seventy oh. percent of Palestinian land is located in the modern country of Jordan. A tiny piece of it is in Israel. Most of it is in Jordan. So are we going to protest against Jordan? Jordanians, give back the land. No, are they going to give back the land? No, they're not. Are they going to let Palestinian refugees go into Jordan? No, they're not. Do they even let Palestinians who live in Jordan now work? No, they don't. Go to Jordan and look around and you'll see signs in the windows. No Palestinian work. They won't hire them. Israel gives them passports to work. Jordan, that has most of their land, no work. No land given back. Syria, too. Part of the land is in Syria. But most of the land is not in Israel. So, again, this is why I know we're so heavily influenced by social media and we want to just go along with the bandwagon of what people say online. But this is why we have to think for ourselves and we have to learn about the world in a way that isn't so simplistic. Anyway, Philistines are the people that move in. And so what's the choice then? What can the Hebrews, what do the Hebrews have to choose to do? To bring them out, right? them. They either fight them or they don't. Why might they, or the majority, be adamant to reclaim this land? What do they believe about the land? It's the promised land. What, what agreement was created that they believe secured the land to them? The covenant. And that covenant was with like...